Hey guys, Sheldon here with BSL. And the other day we had a customer call and they have received over Christmas a movie on a CD, something similar to this. And when they tried to put it in their CD player to play it, they got an error message that um, it couldn't handle the, or play the format. So I just want to take a minute to put together this video to explain what was going on. So back in the early 90s, we, they created this thing called a CD-ROM. And it stood for Compact Disc Read-Only Memory. And what you would get on that typically was music or uh, program installations. Um, you know, like America Online. They would have these CDs all over the place pop it in and it would stall American Online, America Online, AOL. Or, you know, we went from vinyl records, I think you can see this, to this. And uh, anyway, and that's how we got to play the music or uh, a way we could play music. And um, the, the, the reason it was thought of as read-only music is because back in the day, only professional manufacturers, or whatever you want to call them, could produce these CDs. A few short years later, then they came out with the, uh, the CD player that would allow us, you and me, to actually record and put things onto a CD <clears throat> yeah, to where you could put different files or folders or do whatever you want. So a CD like this would hold, let's say, um, about 700 megabytes of data. So let's pretend for the sake of this video, 100 pictures. Then a short while later, we came out with the DVD and it looked very similar to this. The only difference was the technology to put the data on these CDs had increased to where if the if a CD-ROM would hold about 700 megabytes, a DVD would hold almost five gigabytes of data. So if, going back to our analogy, if you could use, if you could put 100 pictures on a CD, you would be able to put about 670 onto a DVD. And then finally we came out with, or they came out with, Blu-ray disc. Again, they look fairly similar. Um, but the Blu-ray disc in the beginning would hold about 25 gigs. Then they got some that would hold 100 gigs. Um, or 50 gigs and then 100 gigs. And to put it in perspective again, if the CD would hold 100 pictures and a DVD would hold 670 pictures, a Blu-ray could hold about 3,560 pictures, so much more data. And with the advent of the DVD, um, that's when we start <clears throat> start seeing movies on DVDs because it would hold more data. And then you had to get a DVD player. And they typically were backwards compatible. So a CD player would play CDs, DVD would play DVs, DVDs, and they could also play back CDs. And then finally, when they came out with the Blu-ray player or Blu-ray disc, you needed a Blu-ray player and it would typically be able to play Blu-ray, DVD, or CDs. And this customer had a DVD player trying to play a Blu-ray disc in it. And of course, they couldn't read the format. So um, that was their problem. And um, we'll typically also see movies on Blu-ray, just like we did on DVDs. But the Blu-ray, because it can hold so much data, um, you would find that the movies were much better quality. Um, 
maybe you have some bonuses like uh, deleted scenes or interviews or things like that. So basically, at the end of the day, we went from CDs to DVD to Blu-rays, and each increment, they would hold more and more data. So, But you needed the correct player to be able to play back from the device. All right, if you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments, and uh, thanks for watching.